Alright, good late afternoon, early evening everybody. So, uh, I'm going to try and get some Wakazashi practice in before the uh, sun goes down. Figured I'd film it for y'all. But, um, I got some water bottles, and then I have some different bottles, like progressively thicker. I got a Gatorade, a windshield washer, a juice, and a few others, fucking, you'll see. But, um, yeah, gonna start out trying a couple left-handed draw cuts, which is really difficult, because there's, like, zero Wakazashi draw tutorial videos, so if anybody out there knows what you're doing with the fucking wakazashi should make some how-to videos cuz I'm fucking flying blind here but let's see it and see what we got let's see what we can do like there's definitely that time in between the draw and the cut while I'm lining it up because you guys didn't see it but the first take I fucking home run that shit I got a piece of that one but yeah, it looks more like I blew out the bottom than anything. Oh well. Let's focus on the hand we're more comfortable with. But I really like the way this cuts. Like, it's a whole different animal than a katana because it doesn't have the mass behind it. So you gotta get your slicing motion in a little more I found so it's gonna be a fucking interesting path to travel to get this one on camera since I got her so hopefully today's the day Sweet. I mean, it's just now start, starting to show some scratches. It seems a little more resistant than other T10 blades I have. And I gotta admit, I like that. I got a piece of it, but I did not fucking penetrate that one. <laughs> That's what she said. That one lives to see another day. Now here's the last regular water bottle before I start on the tougher ones. So I'm just trying to really get my edge alignment and my cutting motion down. So. A really nice clean cut. Now it's tough to decide which ones are fucking what order to do them in, but 
I guess this is the next step up. It's a brisk iced tea. Nothing too fucking crazy, but... Try and level off the stand a little bit with my little fucking thing there. There we go. I'm gonna go for the top of the label. I'm not going to do a double here, I'm just setting this one on top. Yeah, that one is tough. That's really thick plastic. Oh, I don't know, we got to work on our edge line. Right? That one's also under the truck. Right, let's try our crunching rain X here. Alright, we didn't do that alright. Everything is still straight and true. I mean, it's sharp, it's hair, like you can shave with it. But it's like barely, sh it'll take hair off, but I wouldn't consider it hair poppingly sharp. I might run it over the ceramic soon to see if I can bring out a little bit tougher of an edge. We got the uh, cranberry juice bottle. Good for the urinary tract, not so much for swords. This is where a lot of my euros and sabers and stuff start to crap out. Let's see if we can get it with the walkie. Nice. That was a very, that felt really good. Like, right through, no resistance at all. As Forrest would say, I like it a lot. We got the uh, Diabetics Hydrating Lotion. Sorry for the excessive lineups, but I really want to get the eyes alignment right and make it through this. Alright. And we did. Sweet. So, she definitely cuts. And I've already done the review and everything, but I really, really like this sword. It's gonna look really nice when I get the grip rip or the Edo wrap replaced eventually down the road, but that's a couple sword projects down the line, so that's kinda on the back burner. The dingy white will do for now. So yeah. Thanks for watching everybody. Have a good one.